All right. So there are some individuals and businesses and community partners who are making a big effort to improve our air quality. And we'd like to recognize them tonight. So I'd like to invite the governor and board chair Steve Sands back up to the stage to help present these awards. All right, here we go, awards time. Dr. Kerry Kelly is a recognized authority on air quality and has been an enthusiastic advocate in engaging everyone to play a part in bettering the air. As an assistant professor in chemical engineering and director of the program for air quality, health, and society at the University of Utah, Kerry has successfully spearheaded many education air for efforts. Have you played her Bad Air Day, Play It Like You Care video game? Or maybe made a Lego air quality sensor? And as if she wasn't busy enough in all her spare time, Carrie served previously on the state's air quality board and is currently chairing the state's air quality policy board. She has worked tirelessly to encourage Utahns in the classroom, in the community, and on local news to reduce or eliminate wood burning, choose a car with high smog rating, and ask themselves, what else can I do? For expertise, efforts, and dedication of champion clean air, it is our pleasure to name Dr. Carrie Kelly as the 2018 UK Air Clean Air Person of the Year. So um, thanks to you, Care, and thanks to everybody. I'm really honored, and I was actually really surprised. But um, I wanted to thank my excellent and supportive husband, Ross. I wanted to thank my wonderful collaborators in the state of Utah, including Rob Payne, who's here this evening. And basically, everyone in the state, when you come to someone and have an idea for, to do research on air quality, everyone is so supportive, whether, or not, whether it's a corporate partner or whether it's um, a, a school district or the city or a nonprofit or organization, people are great about trying to collaborate. But mostly, I want to thank the students. So as just an example, I have great students. I have people who volunteer to work in my group for no pay because they want to learn about air quality and they want to do something about air quality. And as just an example, some of the students that were volunteering for me without pay came up with the idea to create a, a, a sensor for air quality made out of Legos. That sensor was so novel and innovative that I decided I should pay those students who were not being paid. And then the National Science Foundation asked us to present at the National Science Fair in Washington, D.C. this coming April because the students were, again, so innovative. And that gives me a lot of hope for our air quality future because our students are so smart and uh, enthusiastic and engaged on air quality. So thank you so much. Leading our effort to clear our air is an enormous task and, the, and one we cannot do alone. We are fortunate to have support of many high caliber, respected businesses to call our partners in clearing the air, including Chevron. Chevron is a longtime partner, supporter, and has gone above and beyond over the years, lending its influence and resources to the remarkable success we've had. In 2017, as we worked to activate Utahns to reduce their emissions, Chevron and UCARE took on the issue of wood burning as a public health risk with the Show UCARE Wood Stove Exchange Program. For the tremendous ongoing support of bettering our air through both lending its voice on air quality issues as well as donating tens of thousands of dollars to provide qualifying homeowners with vouchers to exchange wood burning stoves for gas, we're privileged to name, you, uh, to name Chevron as the 2018 UCARE Clean Air Business Partner of the Year. Please welcome Mitra, sorry, M Mitra Kashanchi, Salt Lake Refinery Manager of Chevron.
Good evening. You no, know, public speaking is not my best uh, skill, but when you're in a room that everybody is aligned and everybody knows what's the real issue and how we wanted to attack it, it makes it much easier. So I wanted to thank Tom and the entire UCARE Board of Directors for this recognition. I appreciate that. I'll shake your hand one more time. Uh, I also would like to thank Governor Herbert and the legislators who are here tonight for their leadership and their continuous focus on our air quality. Chevron has been focusing on air emissions for, about, for a long time. Since 1990, Chevron has reduced the emissions from the refinery by about 90%. We know that we need to do more. We know that our efforts need to go beyond our fences, and that's why um, early 2017, the Chevron voluntarily announced that we will, we will uh, produce and sell tier three gasoline in Utah. But even tier three is not enough. As Tom mentioned, we continue to focus on what are the other things that we can provide and what supports we can provide to continue to uh, shed lights on the uh, quali air quality issues. Point sources like refineries and manufacturing sites contribute about 13% to the, to the overall air pollution. There is a third category of emissions that are called area sources. The second, the, the second one is actually the vehicles. The area sources are anything beside these two, and that would be like wood, uh, wood stoves, uh, gas, gas cans, or um, water heaters. These sources contribute nearly 40% of our, our emissions in average winter day. And that's when UCARE comes to, this, to the, um, th that's when UCARE is becoming so valuable in attacking the air quality emissions. UCARE helps educate people and, and about little changes that will make a big difference on our air emissions. We all have a role in playing, we all have a role to play in our air quality. I'm here to accept this award on behalf of my amazing team in the refinery. Some of those, some of my employees are here and I wanted to thank them. This award represents more than 300 employees that come to work every day and they do everything they can to reduce our emissions to help make cleaner fuels. We, we believe in what we do in developing the energy that improves lives and powers the world. Our operations team safely and responsibly operate our plants 24 seven to ensure we meet our permit conditions our engineers and maintenance and environmental teams design, maintain, and improve our equipment to reduce our footprint. So tonight, I'd like to close by thanking everyone who works with me at Chevron for the individual responsibility they take for improving our air, and this recognition belongs to Chevron Salt Lake Refinery employees. Thank you. Utah Department of Transportation's mission is to keep Utah moving. The beauty of this mission statement is that while simple, it has many levels. UDOT is recognized nationally as a leader, an innovator, and as an organization that is moving the transportation industry forward. This includes their contribution to clean, the clean air equation. They partner closely with UTA, planning agencies, nonprofit entities, and communities all over Utah to plan and deliver a multimodal transportation system. Its TravelWise program encourages all of us to reduce the times we drive alone in our cars, suggesting instead we carpool, use transit, telework, trip chain, or walk and ride our bikes. The TravelWise program has also worked closely with other state agencies, most prominently DEQ, to plan and display air quality messages on UDOT's freeway message boards, reminding us to change behavior when it's most important to do so. They take their role in our community seriously, including an interest in the air we breathe, and for these and other reasons, 
we are very pleased to name UDOT as a 2018 UCARE Clean Air Community Partner of the Year. Please welcome Carlos Braceras, Executive Director of UDOT. I want to thank everybody here tonight, the UCARE board, for this distinction on behalf of this over 1,600 employees at the Utah Department of Transportation, over 12,000 private sector partners that work with us every day. I, collect, I affectionately refer to them as the best damn DOT in the country, and I believe they are. You know, us Utahns, we think we're pretty special, and you are. As I have a chance to work around the country, what I see about Utah is our collective love for our state. I think it allows us to come together and work in partnerships like no other place. We could not be successful without our partners at the Utah Transit Authority, our partners at the planning associations that we work with around the state, our partners at the Department of Environmental Quality. It goes on and on, everyone that helps us be successful. It's kind of appropriate as I stand here today at this location because this was the location for the opening ceremonies for the 2002 Winter Olympics. And as we were preparing for the 2002 games, we started with a vision. And that vision was, what is that perfect Olympic day? And we started envisioning what that might be. And part of this was, how do we make transportation not the story? And part of, that's where the Tra Travel Wise program was born. We started working with our private sector, with companies in the private sector, um, on how we could reduce trips, how we could change the travel times that people do, and that was, one, that was where it was born. And when we came out of the Olympic Games, we did a lessons learned. What are those things we should take away from that experience and push forward? And the TravelWise program was that nugget, that one program that we said, we need to continue to do this. And I'm so happy to see how it's grown and how it's gonna continue to make a difference. The future for Utah is incredibly bright. And our growth is really an opportunity. We should, you know, it's a challenge, but it's really an opportunity we have. And how the way we manage this opportunity is going to really play a big role in how we grow and how we, our children get to experience this state. I love this place, and I want us all to work together to be able to envision what's that perfect Utah day in five years, in 10 years, and in 20 years. And I believe it can be a perfectly clear air day. And at the Utah Department of Transportation stands ready to be your partner to help achieve that. Thank you so much for this honor. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Governor. And another big round of applause for our award winners, Carrie Kelly, Chevron, and UDOT.